now to the motor bike. Let me be very clear. I think even that bike run was done with a purpose. The statistics, if you go to IIT hospital and try to look at it, you will find that on an average, there was at least one accident a day, sometimes even two. People breaking bones. So I don't know what we were waiting for. The breakneck speeds people were driving. And even the average user, whoever was putting motorbikes to use, was not doing it with his own health interests in mind, let alone the health interests of others. Now with tumtums in place, I think we should not even revisit this issue of uh, motorcycle ban. So while we were talking about all these bans, you probably missed one very important one. The mm. ban on uh, the so-called intersections for pressures that uh, came in place very recently, probably the no. time when we came See, in. you are saying that the ban came in place recently. Yes, sir. The, 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 the ban was always ban. there. It just got enforced. Now, yes, the last three, two or three years, we have, for four years, we have been following those Supreme Court guidelines. Exactly, sir. Huh? Been strictly uh, following those, sir. Okay. Now, this time, I think people started really taking a uh, few liberties. Okay. Now, if someone comes to this office, tells me, just take a tour of 2, 3 and 4 and see what is happening. Okay? What are you supposed to do? Figure out if there is actually a problem. Yes, the system just did that. The sad part is, because of the Supreme Court judgment protecting the so-called freshies, on campuses of this kind and elsewhere in the country, everywhere else in the country. Yeah. Okay. The students quickly learned to take out and vent out their uh, frustrations, I would say, use the word frustrations, on second year students. So I wouldn't say that uh, uh, intro ban has been introduced this year. Intro ban or even a ban of any kind in the name of an unwanted interaction was always there to protect even second year students. Okay? And I would like to quote Professor Bala here. If you want to have interactions, interactions are always between equals. You cannot have an interaction with someone junior to you or someone senior to you. So this word interaction better be like kind of change to and coin a new word. I think we are waiting for that because you are good at uh, giving a spin to these kind of things. Yes. So again, uh, talking about the reversal of roles, we, we heard about some freshers actually taking the liberty about this uh, enforcing of the ban. Yeah. And uh, being. And, yeah. and, and do you expect us to sit quiet? So we are actually heard about quiet. something. Uh, we, we have, we have uh, acted in those cases. Wherever the, anything has been brought up, we have certainly taken action. We have uh, enforced community service, social service on those students. We have asked the wardens to ensure that those uh, hours, those many hours of community service are in fact uh, followed through. So, and I even was joking and you know, I, it, it was half serious, half joke kind of a thing of letting the same Raghavan committee yes, know that please also frame something so that the reverse does not happen. Just like cases of the so-called intro sessions have come to light and we have taken harsh measures. Let the other thing, set of things also be known. <coughs> what I would like the seniors here to do is actually have that big brotherly attitude. Okay? And I have never seen a, in a big brotherly attitude, you know, someone's uh, uh, hand come up by way of a physical violence or someone being talked down upon. Okay. If you if you go to US universities and you always keep talking about this is what happens here, this is what happens there, and we live in this kind of a world wherein this is banned, that is banned, and so on and so forth. Let me tell you, there are organizations called as Big Brothers Big Sisters almost on every campus. Their main role is to do more than what the mentors are actually doing. What what are we asking for? Four years of this. Conscious effort on our part, four or five years of conscious effort on our part, 
Then the person who comes here goes through it, he will himself start it becomes following a, it. He started to become the tradition and that will become the norm. Okay? So I'm not saying cut interactions, I'm not saying stop interactions, I'm not saying that, uh, well, uh, please live in compartmentalized kind of lifestyle. No. Probably all of us would agree that students are, as students, we're not able to rise up in the situation. Like, we behave as an elder, straight up. Probably maturity is a concern. It is a concern. No, I don't know. See, there's a contradiction here. In, in the generations in which we grew, okay, families were large. Parents paying attention to individual kids was minimal. Okay, so you grew up in the lap of your older sister or your older brother, and that that is how you went to the street, and that is how you uh, went about life. Okay, now with nuclear families, okay, you are you are the apple of their eyes, and so on and so forth. Okay, why cannot these kind of values be inculcated even in the house? It is very easy for the parents to call me and say that my son was back. What are you going to do about it? Okay. Fine, I am supposed to do something because this kind of a menace should not be happening on a campus of this kind. I am duty bound to protect your son or your daughter, which I should do. Okay. So where do you think the roots lie? See, this is a sas bahu kind of <laughs> situation. Okay. My mother-in-law made me go through all this. She made me suffer when I was uh, a daughter-in-law. So, when I become the mother-in-law, I will make my daughter-in-law go to him. And Baba, cut that link somewhere. At least learn from what your mother-in-law did to you and say, I will at least not do this to my daughter-in-law. This is a classic usi mode. There is no going away from this. Even though we are not watching the serials. No, 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 you don't have to watch the serials. Okay? You have to be a married man like me. Okay? So cut it, snap it somewhere, okay? And maybe that will put an end to Sarbo serial <laughs>
at midnight of 31st. That is the New Year Eve. So I don't know. I still don't remember how much money I had in my pocket. I still don't remember honestly what I got to eat and whether I eat, fed myself properly in that kind of uh, time span. Those, those have been my busiest days, at least as a day. So even losing one student is a very painful process. Very, very painful process. The recovery period is a minimum of three to four weeks before you can come back. Okay, you do, you cut jokes, you talk to people, you have to act normal, you have to do all those things. But deep down, you are shaken every time this happens. Okay, now I have come to a point where, you know, possibly there are of course a few people in the system. I am among the few people who can relate to the families in such kinds of situations for the simple reason that there is a personal loss associated with this. I lost my brother when I was 37 and he was 45. So I know what is it for parents to have to go through when they have lost their child. Okay. So I've seen my parents and I've seen what it has done to them. They're still alive. Okay. So I know therefore how to deal with parents, but I also know what they are going through. It is one it is never never that entire period is totally traumatic. Now, of course, I have become like a stone whenever some such thing like uh, happens. Okay, uh, I have freed myself of any, you know, um, kind of an emotion as associated with that particular kind of event. It is a wrong thing to say. It's a sad thing to say, but that is what it has made me. Okay, and therefore I am able to. Why at that particular point in time with the parents much better than many others? Some of them may not be able to bring themselves to even break this news to the parents. Look, this is what has happened to your son. Okay? 